Hey everybody, how's it going? In my last video, I showed you guys how to connect Google Assistant to a Tesla Model 3 so you can actually uh, talk to your phone while you're driving and you still have access to Google Assistant. Uh, today I wanna to do the reverse, how to connect uh, Google Assistant to your Tesla where if you're away from your car, uh, you can still interact with your car with different things. So um, I'll first show you how it works uh, how, like how the setup works. And then I will take you, uh, to actually setting it up. So for starters, you can see my car is charged to 80% and it is at the limit that I picked. So I actually brought out my home mini and it's just sitting right here. Um, so I'll tell it a couple of commands and then I'll show you how to set it up if this is what you're interested in. And the commands themselves can be changed. You can change it to whatever you like. Uh, we'll go through all that. So anyway, Hey Google, Tesla range. So it does take a second. It connects to your car, uh, similar to the app. And it is thinking. You can see the lights flickering. Battery level is 80%. Range is 399 kilometers. Car has completed charging or charge limit has been reached. Which is accurate. As you guys saw, it is at 80%. And... Uh, it is at the limit that I set. Um, I have, I can make it cool down my car with air conditioning. I can make it heat up. Uh, like I said, there's all sorts of things you can do and I will take you through that. Uh, I'll go through one more with you just as a fun demonstration. Hey, Google, Tesla cool. Again, it's going to connect. Starting climate system. And you should be able to hear that the AC is started on the car. Uh, it's starting to cool down. So it is kind of useful if you're, you know, in your house in the morning and you want to warm up or cool down your car. You don't really have to uh, do much, especially someone like me who has Google Homes in pretty much every single room of the house. I can now cool down, heat up my car, uh, do all sorts of stuff. So uh, if you guys are interested, Keep watching and I'll take you guys to the setup process. All right, so now you saw the video and you want to set it up for yourself. So the first step to do is go to your Google Assistant, uh, click the button in the top right and under Explore, start typing EV car and it should pop up down there. If not, you can just hit search and there's like control car, find transportation, all that sort of stuff. Go down to the one that says talk to EV car. So you click that and under here, there's quite a bit to it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to set it up and then I'll show you all the command list. So you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and right now my account is linked. So you can see it's linked. And all you'd have to do is click the link button and you log in with your Tesla details, uh, username, password. And it doesn't actually store your username and password. Once you log in, it's actually storing a token from your account. So it is pretty secure that way. Um, I've had it maybe once in the last month where it messed up. I had to unlink and relink my account. So it is, uh, really, really good. It's a, it's a good application, pretty secure. Um, as you can see, it is available for Google home, Android five plus six plus, uh, TVs, Chromebooks, uh, headphones, I guess they mean the pixel buds, which aren't very good, but anyway, that's not important. And, uh, if you read more, you can see all the things it can do. So, uh, Naturally, for this to work, you, you'd have to tell your assistant, in my case, a Google Home or a phone or whatever, uh, you know, talk to EV car for charge status, and you can ask it all these different things. Uh, but to say talk to EV car and then to remember all these different things each and every time, uh, you can set it up a little bit easier using routines, which I will show you in a sec. So once your account is linked under down here, like once you have it linked, uh, just like, keep in mind the ones you want to use. So you can do everything. Like you can set driver and passenger temp temperature separately as if you were in the car. Uh, you can honk the car, honk the horn, honk the car, flash the lights, uh, you know, cool, warm, see temperatures, figure out where your car, like figure out where your car is, set charge limits, everything you can do in your car, you can do pretty much, uh, on here. So just for argument's sake, we're going to pick one and we'll use honk the horn, okay? 
just just because. So now our account's linked. It's linked up. You guys did the link. So now we're going to go back. I'm going to go to the Google Home app. And on the left side, we're going to click the arrows, click more settings. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to go to routines. So as you guys can see, I do have three routines set up. Uh, so charge status, for example. So when is when you say something, and then my assistant should. So my assistant should talk to EV card and get charge status. And when is, these are the three ones I've set up, Tesla range, Tesla charge, Tesla charge status. So if you say any of those three, it's going to automatically uh, talk to EV car and get the charge status, which you guys saw. So I'm going to set up a new one. So when you add your command, and I think I have this pasted, yeah, talk to EV car, and you want to do that each and every time, and then you're just going to use the list of commands that it gives you, and you can put in one. So honk the horn. I think that's what it was, right? It was called honk the horn. Let's see, honk the horn. I can see it without getting out of the app. So, uh, wait, wait, wait. I have that reversed. So, <laughs> so make sure when you do edit commands, this is, all right, let's go back. This is when your assistant should. So I, I do have that reversed, my bad. So add, and then up here, we want to change this to whatever we want to say. So Tesla honk. And now if I were to say, here, let's hit the little check mark so it's there. So as you can see, uh, if I refresh, I have Tesla charge status, Tesla cool, Tesla honk, Tesla warm. So when I say, okay, Google, Tesla honk. My apologies, I don't understand. Okay, so uh, that Google is, that Google Home is uh, clearly sleeping, but it, it does work as you guys saw earlier. And it might take a minute or so for your account to uh, fully like send the routines from here to your home or for your assistant to link up. Uh, it doesn't do it instantly, but it, it does work as you guys saw. So you can add as many of these as you want. Um, one other thing. So Tesla honk, if I want to do other ones, so, uh, sound the horn. So all I did now is I can say either Tesla honk or sound the horn. So I can do either or, and it does work uh, with both commands. So as you can see, it is pretty useful because you won't remember exactly the same phrase each and every time. So for example, the charging, I have range, charge, and charge status. And I know you can set it up so it does charge, but I leave mine plugged in all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I just kind of want to say test a charge and give me the, the charge status. Um, and then what I have for, let's say warm, so Tesla warm, warm my car, Tesla heat, uh, just phrases I would remember on how to say them. So that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said in the beginning, if you guys are interested in how to get uh, your Google Assistant while driving, where the Assistant actually pops up on the screen of your Tesla, I'll drop a link for that in the description below so you guys can watch that one. That's uh, very useful. But anyway, that's all for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.